that. Put that in reverse. And back this down. And okay, good. Set to the right siding. Yeah, it's uh, getting some things sorted real quick. We had some cars that were delivered because we had the interchange car at like four o'clock in the morning. Amazing. You want me to run the passenger up to Bryson? Uh, Ella Bryson? Uh, we've actually expanded it past Bryson. We've expanded the no. airline past Bryson, so. Holy crap. Yeah, we actually area. just we actually just finished that line yesterday. Before it's only these locos. Yeah, we got. Yep, just the three locos we have. We've managed to accomplish what we have. Well, want to run this up to Ella? Working on getting the uh, heavy train set up for it actually going to take the uh, or the stuff that has to go up to Bryson. Cause I'm going to run the things to Whittier first. But I haven't been in your server before. I need a roll signed. Yeah, give me one sec. Yeah, it was just no worries. That. that was the wrong tab. Ah, <laughs> uh, so you didn't go down to Silva yet. Okay. Nah, we're gonna work on that. I just, uh... Yeah, so the, uh, when you go down to Silver, the, the interchange changes from Whittier Yard to Silver Yard, so it's quite the hike down there. But it is a bigger yeah, yard. we are gonna wait for a bit of money before we do that, because... I want to get a few things before we do. Before doing that, just so that it, uh. Lumber is a huge moneymaker, we, we learned yesterday. Yeah, I want to get a few more cars for the lumber contract before I renew it again. Yeah, if you do two sets of eight. Yeah, um, that's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, it's super productive. Mm. <clears throat> and I probably should and we got a, uh, have the money to afford three more cars. Because we already have five. Got, so, plus the eight that you yeah, start we, with. So, we can... Yeah, we got tankless Mikado to run just the lumber. And it's worked out pretty good. Except uh, when you get the pulp cars, it becomes... Uh, Comes a little bit of a situation with water. Yeah. Oh, you have two sets of five? Or you have a set of five and three? Uh, we have a set of eight and five. Oh, okay, yeah. We're purchasing three cars now. That should, uh... Okay, where did it drop those? Right next to you. Yep. On track, on track three. Yeah, I see it. And oh, we have... you want me to uh, run the log train then? Well, I was going to use the mogul real quick to run this stuff up to Whittier. There's, uh, there's box cars. Because uh, locomotive number three, Henry, is for the, like, the goods going to... Bryson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you notice the crew names, I, uh, I decided to go with naming my locomotive. <laughs> well, basically naming my locomotive after the Thomas characters. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Right, and switch the set. All right, 
Taking a pass in Jardella. Yeah, our rating dropped because we didn't do the, uh, like, we didn't run past Ella. Oh, the passenger network? Okay. Yeah, like, we didn't, uh, we didn't run the train past Bryson after we completed the, uh, after we completed the bridge, before we time skipped forward to just doing this, so then our rating dropped because of that. The uh, Pacific is much better at running uh, passenger than the Tim Wheeler. The Tim Wheeler is actually really good for freight. You want to swap that around later? Well, I think like the ten wheeler is probably like, the ten wheeler has been pre doing pretty good with it. I mean, the load. Oh wait, this thing has no coal in it. There's no coal in it. It's point four ton. Ooh. <sighs> is that going to be? That make it to Bryson? Yeah, that might not make it to Bryson. Alright, I'm gonna shove it. I'm gonna shove it back to the yard. Alright, I'm coming back to the yard with it to, to coal up. I'm, is there idea if I line myself up for the, uh, for the shoot? Yeah. Alright, I'm on my way back. And wrap for the shoot. Once you get a good rhythm with the rum with the lumber going, it's super super profitable. Yeah, I'm actually pulling forward right now. I'm going to back down in the main line. So then, as you're backing in, I can proceed on up to Whittier with these cars. Okay, you're gonna do a reverse move onto the main. Uh, I'll hold at the Y. There's a guy running around. Jam, jam a man joined.
heating oil cars ready. Now we have eight cars for setting up the one. Well, two sets of eight, so we got 16 cars. That's perfect. That'll be plenty of work for the even the single manning. Yeah, for the tier one to, as well. We don't have the contract right now, though. cars there so those two cars can go straight in I'll have to pull that one that's good to get. and that's still got 15 tons of cargo in it Crew that usually runs the uh, runs engine three, they like to kick the cars down the line. Yeah, I can get behind that. I love kicking. I mean, it's one of the things I always do with the, and I would play Derail Valley. How come this thing's not topping up on water? I think the ten wheeler is kind of finicky about that. You might have to stow the water column and then move it back. Yeah, I did that. I'm like buried right over the top of this thing. Mm. How about now? There it goes. Yeah. That was very finicky. Yeah, I think I heard that the 10-wheeler is kind of finicky when it comes to refilling the water on it. Alright, I'm going to line myself up for uh, Ella. Am I already, I've already got it all lined up for you to proceed in, and then you'll proceed on through. So. Yep. Because I, I, I don't need to go on to the main line with what I'm doing here. I've got plenty of track to work with. That switch. Align that switch. On the way to Ella. I'll keep I'll keep you lined for the yard at uh, Whittier. One car has to go back to Whittier from here. Oh, uh, I probably should. Get 
farm supply taking takes forever to freaking unload. What's the status on this anyway? Jeez, they still got so much freaking stuff that has to come back. It has to be unloaded. These freight contracts are quite lucrative, especially the sawmill. What's up? <clears throat> this freight, like doing this stuff with the freight, is quite lucrative, especially the sawmill. Delivering the logs. Yeah, it's, my... yeah, it's the best money maker. Early game, the passenger service. When you, well, you you got a big run for the passenger service, so that they. they Starts yeah, getting easier. We just expanded easy. to Fontana, so. <laughs> so we got a decent distance that we can work with. And. We have the coal mine. But I don't know. We're not sure if the, if the locomotives we have will be able to handle the coal run. No, you'll probably need a, the mid tier consolidation. The mid-tier consolidation can handle up to like 1,800 ton.
just a touch of throttle. So like the other day we had an incident of someone running into the loaded logging cars at L1 at doing 27 miles an hour. Stay the mile an hour again? They were doing 27 miles an hour when they collided with the log with the loaded skele uh, logging skeletons at L1. Whoops. That was distracted by their dog. Yeah, well, on the other server I main on, uh, I was running down the track at Whittier, and I was exceeding track speed. It's okay, I was doing 42. It was light power. And uh, the passenger train was coming through, <clears throat> and uh, it had a fusee set because he was going to give way to me. He was running in a manual mode, so it just blew right through the fusee, Occupied the switch that I was gonna that that I was about to come up to, and I uh, just collided into the side of him at forty miles an hour. <laughs> Jeez. And I, I was just like, dude, there was a fusey down. He's like, oh, I was running a manual. <laughs> like, come on, man! I told you I was taking the switch at Whittier. <laughs> yeah. Alright, safety rating 68%. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Yeah, ours had, ours went down to like 69 at one point. Every time you damage a car, it also it also affects your safety rating. Even if you damage it by 1%. Pretty harsh. Yeah. Uh, what else can I do? I got the passenger train set up for L, uh, not L, um, Bryson. I mean, right now I'm backing down with this empty car to go drop it into the siding. I mean, oh, for the interchange? Know, yeah. I mean, the only other thing that really needs to be done right now is like, does it require a contract for the logging cars to actually be unloaded? Like, if I dump the yes. loaded car, like, so we have to actually have the contract for those then. Yes. All right. I think what I I'll definitely do the highest tier if you're gonna stay consistent with it, and you just might as, you should do the tier three. 
and then you'll be able to unlock uh, four take, and five. Like just how short it takes to uh, to load the cars up. Because it yeah, only takes about they, an uh, hour. That's that's the thing that's so nice. It only takes one in-game hour to load the cars. Yeah, and then it takes uh, three to unload. I think about for the eight car for for an eight car uh, oh, yeah, like tier train. Three. It takes practically all day to unload an eight car in tier one. Yeah, that's tier three. It takes like three hours. So definitely having those extra cars will definitely be worth it then. Yeah, if you need to be running tier three, you'll you unlock tier four, tier five contracts once. Um, well, you, I think uh, I don't know when you unlock it, but they they become available, tier four, tier five. So like, do go to tier three like right off the bat. Don't even wait. If you think you're gonna not make time on it to slow down, slow down in game time. I mean, I have it running at one to one right now. Oh, that's bone slow. Yeah, but we do the Doodle. waiting whenever necessary. This way, it allows us to get the stuff done in a timely manner, so we get the time bonus for getting it done yeah. quickly. And then we'll just do wait, like we have to wait an hour or two or three as needed to. Yeah, true. You just get four to an hour. Because I found that that's the most like that is definitely the more effective way of doing it. Because in this way, you always get the time bonus for delivering your stuff in a timely manner. You can kind of also take your time with doing stuff too, to a degree. Sure. I'd have to say that with like how I kind of a bit of the way that I handle the strange when using the throttle on the regulator, I probably would be causing like damage to them with the way I'm running them. No doubt. This is not like a true sim sim. This is more about the rerouting aspect, which I like. Yeah. Because what I'm simple. doing is like Actually, if I have it like the train's moving at slow speed, I'll kick the reverser all the way forward or all the way reverse with full throttle to slow it down and then turn basically get it to change directions. <laughs> like, I am not being gentle on the throttle or the reverser, and that's probably not a good, like, realistically speaking, it's probably not a good thing that I'm doing that with these car, with these trains. Probably not. I mean, I do make the shorter to slow down ahead enough of the cars so that I'm always doing less than five miles an hour when I couple up to them. That way I don't cause any damage.
$208 for 110 fares. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Right, set that switch. Use the brakes. Get the throttle. I'm going to grab these logging cars and take them up. The logging camp will always load the cars regardless of if you have the sawmill contract, right? That is correct. Alright, so then I can at least get some cars loaded and ready to go. You have the Alarac Junction selected, but I don't see a station. What? Oh, there it is. Never mind. I see it. Here, back. All right. Break.
Mac. Right. Yeah, I'm just taking these empty cars up. Seeing as I got more than eight, I gotta split them between two separate tracks. Why? L2 can only hold eight cars. How many did you take? Uh, 11. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I got the eight that were the original cars going up to L2, and then the three that I just ordered going up to L1. Get them loaded, and then once we have, like, once I have it all set up, like, once I have all the cars loaded, that's probably when I'll take the tier three contract. Then, okay. there's what 15 cars for tier three? 15? What do you mean? Is it, isn't it, it, you have to supply 15 cars for tier 3 for the sawmill. Something like that. That's why the, the two sets of 8 work, because you're just running it into L2. Just You're just doing constant swaps at L2. Yeah. I mean, once we expand it down to Silva, we can, I can, we can end up using where the interchange was at Whittier as log storage siding, so it can get more cars and then always have enough down there to cover the contract. So you just swap out what's loaded with the empties. Well, and then you actually, the when you and get them loaded up and then bring the, and then if there's no room for them on the track, just dump them in the siding until it's ready to swap the, car, the cars out. So what we did is when we got the con, when we got the, the track down to the Silva is we bought eight pulp, pulp wood cars and then you have the pulp wood contract from uh, Conley where you get the pulp wood and bring it down to the silver pulp mill that's down there yeah and that's a it's a very lucrative contract that's More so than the sawmill. very much so so you just run the two cuts of eight cars to the sawmill, right back and forth, back and forth, and then you get eight eight cars of the pulp wood, and then you run those pulp wood cars down the Silva and put them into the paper mill. And it works out because um, you really can't handle any more than 16 empties going up the hill. So it works out on a shove, you can shove the eight pulp cars to the end of, at the end of Conley, and then you can shove, then you can um, get the log cars over to the L2, run the time, run the time, an hour forward, then pull the cars out of, uh, pull the wood cars back out, and then hook back up to the pulp cars. The pulp cars uh, fill in four hours. Oh, wow! I think, yeah. Um, but the thing about that uh, contract is that uh, it needs to be completed in 24 hours. You have to be you have to be on it. Yeah. That's why I'm hoping for uh, getting some. Like obviously, want to get some more engines, and then. And that's why it's like also always looking for people to join because. I mean, we've been two-manning all like these trains for the most part. Yes, the server that I'm in usually get between four and six people on at a time. We have five, and we have five engines right now. Yeah, well, we've been spending the money mostly on getting, on getting these expansion projects done, and then obviously some of these cars too. I mean, we just. We still like we bought three passenger coaches, so that's why we have the four of them. Yeah. 
I'd swap the one coach out with the with the observation car. The observation car pays 20% more for uh, fares. Well, we're just going to just get an observation car and have it, throw it on the back, so we'll have five car, five coaches total with the car. Oh yeah, you can do that. So I kind of figured that we'll probably doing that. I mean, having the four coaches gives plenty of, of passenger space then, especially for doing those longer runs. We're probably going to need it. I found out that Walker, like theirs, is set up that, I believe it is the lower one, can take eight cars total between the two sidings. What is Walker? It's uh, right by, it's the one near Bryson, so when you go, when you're... Yeah, but what is it? Like it's coal? A, uh, logging camp. Oh. Um. Yeah, they have they have the logging camp set up that with L2. Yeah, you can only like, you can fit exactly eight cars because it has to it counts the like, part of the coupling as being in. So they got it perfectly spaced so that only eight cars can fit on the L2. I think it's also kind of nice with just like with doing the logging camp with Canelli is but especially L2 you don't have to give it any throttle to head back down just release the brakes and the train will just go on its own it's very true Exciting. There it is. Not just back down that 
just like him streaming this entire thing. What are you doing? Streaming this. On Twitch? Yeah. Oh god. Break. It's released. Like L1 strike is fairly level. I wonder how, like, how bad of an idea would it be to just let the cars loose from L1 once they're ready? <laughs> Basically just release the uh, handbrake. They still need a, they still roll. need, a, well, you can release the handbrake, but they still need a nudge to move down the track. So you have to, you, that's like a gameism. You have to couple up to it to get it started. That there's no way to just let it go, basically. That even though there's nope. air in the line, so the brakes should be released because... I use the independent brake on the locomotive to slow it down and stop it on the siding. So the brakes oh. were never in, the brakes were never on on the cars when I released them from the locomotive. I have not seen any instance where even if, if the car is stopped and you're decoupled and you release the handbrake and there's no brake applied, basically at that point that it'll start to roll on its own. It has to be nudged. So I have to go up and actually just a couple up to them. Once the car is in motion, it'll stay in motion. But it won't. It won't. It will not start in motion unless you actually couple yep, up to it. Unless you. Yep. Unless you shift R on it when it's an empty car. Well, I mean, I mean, up, like in theory. You... If you push up against it when you're like and hold shift R, you will nudge empty cars. So you can physically move empty cars around sidings just oh boy. with your person without using the locomotive. Game breaking bug. I mean, in a way, wouldn't that actually be something that's possible, though, in real life, regardless? Would you push it? I don't know.
Take them back to price and then just kind of just dump them there for the time being. No, I'll take them down to Whittier. Oh. Yeah, mix for do mix freight. Need to pay that loan down. This will give plenty of time for that. Why I don't really need the handbrake on. So now it's just going to be waiting for these cars to fill up. How'd you manage to get? Like, how'd you manage to get them to uh, end up behind you? What I did a I did a flying drop from that siding or from the one next, like from that main line, like that line next to it. Yeah. So what I did was um, I I pulled the cars out and then I shoved them up 
on the the main next to it, right? And then I went up there about ten car lengths, and then I reversed with the the loco, right? And then when I hit between five and seven miles an hour, I decoupled and then throttled out, flew by the switch, stopped, threw the switch back, ran up the side on the left side, and then watched the cars roll by. And then now now they're in the proper place. That's a flying that's a flying drop. <laughs> yeah, so far everything that's gone up here to Bryson has come back with the train for the bridge. Because pretty much as soon as we got Bryson unlocked, I started working on that getting that bridge stuff. So everything that was coming up and then was getting worried it was just coming back. The bridge trade. You already interchanged that? Yeah, that was all done yesterday. Yeah. We just, like, we just completed the bridge. Right now, I'm just waiting on the uh, log cars to fill up. There really isn't anything else to do. I mean, I think pretty much everything else is done for the time being. I picked them all up. I went all the way to Al Alucard Junction, and I'm already on the down. On ah, the you're down already on your way back. All right. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm efficient. I used to be a train master, man. I'm about making money. What do you think of my numbering? Like numbering of these cars? I got them all in a sequential order. <laughs> whatever, whatever floats your boat, man. It's your, it's your server. Yeah. Did Whittier have anyone for Alucard Junction? Uh, no. But Alucard Junction had five passengers, so I went up there and grabbed and them. Where are they? Where were they all going? Uh, let me check actually. Like, where did Alucard? Like, where did all of the Alucard? Bryson and Whittier. They were all coming to Bryson or Whittier. Yep. What do we got here? So we got 24 for Bryson, 4 for Ella, and 5 going to Hemingway. But it's probably partly because it's still the early morning, so... There really isn't the passengers because it's only like 5 o'clock and we don't really get... But I think you don't really get passenger... I really start getting passenger numbers until like 6, 7 o'clock usually. Yeah, well, once I get this train down to uh, Whittier uh, Station, I'll park the I'll park the passenger cars, run the uh, freight into the interchange, and then um. Yeah, and if you're well, not back, it, back, in, just back it all the way down to the car that I already have there, so it's 
I mean, I guess you can even just dr drop it in the siding. Doesn't really matter how you just. I was gonna, I was gonna fly and drop the passenger cars. All right. <laughs> Good luck, kids. <laughs> One downside of this early game stuff is, especially when you have quite, quite a few people to be working with, you can end up running out of things to do pretty quickly. That's why you gotta have uh... all the contracts going. All the contracts going, yeah. And it but depends on how many people you have in your square roll. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, then you just slow down time. The amount of contracts too, because of the fact of just like the amount of, like if you don't have enough locomotives to handle them or you don't have powerful enough locomotives for the contract you're not really going to be able to do it all that well seems like the sweet spot for locos so far in our other server is five because two people can manage about three to four trains depending on what they're doing like the passenger trains easy right you just set your fusies and then every time it stops you go remove fusey it keeps going yeah. Um, a logging train is pretty, pretty easy. Like you just set that to go up, go up and down, up and down. That's very easy. Yeah. So then you can focus on switching industries up and down the line with the two other trains. Yeah. So we've been having enough people that every train, like that all three locomotives, have been able to be running with full two-man crews. No need for the AI because we've had two people on each locomotive. Yeah, and when you have a road switcher going, having two people on the road switcher is actually pretty efficient because, like I said, you can have, like, you can do flying drops, so that way the, the train just keeps going, and then, like, decouple, you know, slows down, decouples, and then takes off, and then, like, the guy just lines himself up, and then can just drop, fly, switch the cars yeah. on, into the we, uh, customer siding. With uh, Appalachian Hardwoods, those two cars, those were both dropped off at the same time. Yeah, did you fly drop. We them? had yeah, with two like one person on each car, and we just spaced the dropping of them out so that they so the first one went into the siding, that first siding, and then the other one went into the siding where the pole hopper was stopping the Yeah, that's what I do with Appalachian. I'll, uh, I'll just come up, I'll sh shove them up there and I'll, uh, cut them. Uh, I'll cut the first one at, like, 10, I'll cut the first one at 10 and I'll cut the, the next one at 8 mile an hour and then that way they get some spacing for the switch. Yeah. And it's flat track, so... But I think they were also bringing the last, the last train out for the bridge up, too, when they did that. So they had it on the front end of the of the bridge train, and they kicked them. They kicked them down the siding, and then took the bridge train up into the position so that the final phase could be completed. So this burned one ton of coal. I think by the time I get to Whittier Station, I'll probably burn 1.2 tons. So about half, half, half a tender's worth of coal to get all the way up to Alucar. Yeah. Thousand, almost a th about, yeah, about a thousand gallons uh, gone so far. So about 1,500 gallons probably. So half and half.
that'll be the last of the track expansions other than Silva. I think before those before doing the way the Y at Alcar and going to Montana for it will be purchasing the track for Silva. You got enough track. I mean you have a lot of industry to service up at Bryson. Uh, and you need more road you need more road, road power. That's my opinion. It's a lot of railroad for two people to use. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been running quite a few people. Though. I'll be back. Just swap those around instead of just dropping them in, but oh well. <coughs> uh, what's the status of the lot of cars?
shadows to fill. Where are you going to put those passenger cars on the side and you're just going to leave them there and then run around it? I don't think there's going to be enough room. Is there enough room there? That you want, Mike. Oh. What? Oh. My dog is just like staring at me. What do you want, Goofy Girl?
almost done. One more car. That should be probably ready in like 15, 20 minutes. That one's already ready, but I'll grab that on the way down. I'm gonna run that uh that stuff for Bryson up there.
I'm back. All right. Yeah, I'm heading up to uh, Bryson with the uh, stuff that needs to go up there, just so that it gets up there and done. Sorry about that. I didn't. Uh, I lined myself down for the main so I can do the cutover, and uh, then I saw your train coming down the track. I'm like, uh. <laughs> Really, pup? Do you always gotta try to chew on my hand? Huh? Do you always have to try to chew on my hand? Why, weirdo? Why?
probably should set these switches over there too. Alright. Those are pretty much set. Set that main one. Actually, the freight house. So there's the team track. That one's still got. That one's not even done being loaded. What's the capacity on these freaking things? Picking up, calling up, and then uh, we'll uh, have the passenger on its way again. Uh, $68. Pretty good. And $100 for those passengers to order the wood here. I learned $71. Bucks. You deliver passengers? What do you got, a caboose? No, you. Oh. It tells me like whenever like it, it does it in the console it shows the number of fares and how much it all costs. So the seventeen people that you dropped off at Ella gave nineteen bucks and the sixty two that you just dropped at Whittier gave a hundred. Gotcha. Bringing the login train down, it's full. Yeah, there's uh, cars at siding in at L1 and then, yeah, L2.
All right, passenger on the way back up the main locking train coming down the hill. switched out from the team track for Bryson so that I can put the uh, so I can put the one that I just brought up in that one spot and have currently on the track move to the back end of it so that when it's empty it can just be pulled out without having to swap the cars around. Mm -hmm. Forgot to do that with the heating oil when I made that delivery swap the two cars. So the fresh one that was just dropped off is The first one that was just dropped off is at the front. I mean, it's at you the back, oh shit, now it's a party.
Uh, my dog is just sitting on my driver's seat of my truck with her head on the head. Armrest. I know, because she heard me speak. She, <laughs> she opened her eyes and now she's just staring at You're me. You're driving a truck and we're at the same time? No. That doesn't sound very convincing. <laughs> I'm parked. Alright. Alright. No. Back to the <laughs> Passenger to Bryson. I can't set the loads to the uh, to the logging train. By the way. Yeah, because we don't have the contract. So right now, I just want the cars all loaded, and then I'll take care of that in a few minutes. Okay, just where wanted to make sure. Uh, where was the log? Where were the cars taken to? Uh, I mean, they're in Whittier Yard. I'm I'm spotting the. Uh, the other cars right now. The ones that are actually going to solve it.
I thrown the switch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you nearly go up the siding? Wait, did you send the train up the siding? Because no, I was gonna fly drop it. smooth operator right now.
Not sure if I was supposed to click that switch or not. <laughs> Which one? Where are you at? Let's see. Should I the, send you yeah, a like, tier three contract for the sawmill works? Like, because I've been just doing just the tier one just repeatedly. You should do the tier three. You, you're gonna advance much more quickly. Yeah, you have tier one right now. Yeah, I just set it to tier, set to tier three. Now you're cooking with the gas. Well, there's nothing to do right now. That's just and then right now, just making sure that the new cars added onto that train are good. Okay, uh, so we got eight cars on standby for the solo. Last pick, if you want to, you can uh, actually couple up to the other end of that train, shove down, and get ready to do a car, car load swap with the sawmill. gotta drop for a bit maybe i'll uh, jump on later you got the uh the passenger train on on the way to hemingway right now it's got a few set so it'll automatically stop when it gets there then yep when you hear the when you see the fares get punched uh, should be ready to go i'll check to see if there's passengers for it uh yeah there's some passengers for hemingway so you'll see it Hey, Chaos. Alright, later. Good luck.
all set to bring it back. Uh, passenger running up to Alarco right now. All right. Number three is currently sitting at Bryson. I dropped off those uh, cars that were delivered. Okay, I can either run three or because two is currently running in, in, in AI mode, so it's running with the. Uh, the AI crew at the moment. Have you got a few set for the yeah, end? Yeah, there's a few set at Alarca. Alright. So they'll stop when it gets there. Almost time to get more coal for Whittier. <laughs> yeah.
paid down the loan a little bit more. How many fuses can we set? I answered the note. Looks like you can set one for every, uh, like every station. It's not moving. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's gonna be a few. Oh, yeah, well, these are all spotted anyway. Two's coming up to uh, to the Larka Junction right now. Let's check in number three. Control T. Okay, seems to have spotted everything. Yep. Alright, just check going back over here. automatically conforms to uh, like the speed restrictions, right? Like, you don't have to tell it. Yeah, you'll do the speed limits. What's, like, pretty much the maximum speed that the trains really should be going along any of this track? Well, you can set it to any top speed, but the AI will stay to the speed limit. So, like, whatever's actually safe for it to equip to for it to do, it'll do. Yeah, it won't go any faster. So even if you set it to like 60, but the track is only meant for like 35, it doesn't actually have that as a post thing. It'll just go 35. Posts. Or below, actually. It usually does like two miles an hour below. Because isn't it like Whittier to Ella is rated for 35 miles an hour except for that one curve where it's 30. So the train won't exceed 35 even if you set it to max speed of being 50. Yeah. You just set it to 50 like when it can, it will do that. Looks like the 10 wheelers uh, max speed setting is 45. So that means that that train can't exceed 45 miles an hour. Well, on the AI, it can go 54, I know. It's just the AI won't go past 45. Yeah. Uh, 
Why is it seven thousand? Okay, that's that one thousand nine. Yeah, that'll be good. Probably by the end of the day, that oil tanker will be ready to go. I did the tier three of the sawmill. Oh. But we got 16 cars, so. Yeah, we need 15 to do it per day, so we got one extra, so we're good. Yeah, I purchased the extra car. I purchased the extra car because I knew we were going to need them. are aligned because I do not want to send okay good it's gonna go exactly where Bro. it needs to go I figured I can remove that that fusey because I don't need it I'm looking at number two on my screen, and it is like you are sitting in front of the cab. Like you are sitting with your back against the door. That was so weird. Yeah, sometimes it jumps around. maybe it should be four hours and an hour load and four hours should be well, yes why did you pull those yeah. off they're not done being like those were there to be unloaded those need to go back on the siding you need to wait for them to be empty before you pull them off
the other guy was just saying to have like to to connect up to them so that you'd be so they'd be ready to be pulled out when they come empty. Yeah, that look weird. I was definitely going to need some water, though. only got 600 gallons so it needs to be topped off that's for sure Those cars need to go back into the sawmill. They have to be unloaded. testing. Making sure your audio is working properly? Yes, sir. I was having a problem with Hello Loose. They couldn't hear me. Oh. I guess Hut can fix what Blast was doing. Yeah, I'm already fixing it. I don't know why he was pulling them from the siding. Alright. Where shall I be? He might have been a troll. I don't know what he was doing. Turn the face forward again. I'm 
Yeah, that's the one thing about going up that way. Once you like you get up that way, you can't turn it around until you get back here. Yeah, not until we get the Y done at Alarca. Should we do that one next as far as track expansions go before we uh But I like I think we should first do back towards Silva, then work on the track further up. Yeah, but that moves the interchange all the way to Silva. Yeah. Almost forgot to do that. <laughs> Wouldn't it have done him any good if I didn't give him the ability to control a train, right? Yeah, nope. <laughs> Just twiddle your, twiddle your thumbs. Pretty much. Oh, my dog. Oh, and um, transferring you know, saves is so easy. Yeah. Did you notice what I did with the uh, with rolls in the Discord? Oh, yeah, I see. I may. I I always with my Discords. I always make it that any bots I have have a bot roll and it puts them at the bottom of the list. <laughs> like I always make it give a roll to everyone else so that it can like that doesn't do anything other than being cosmetic. Just for the sake of making it so that they appear above the bots in the listing. I'll be right back. I gotta go use the restroom.
Come back. Wait till end of day when the contract for the uh, for the sawmill pays out for paying the next bit of the uh, thing. Yeah, sure. Alright, should be pulling in the ELA soon. Alright, once you get to Bryson, I'm gonna time skip in an hour and see what that does for the uh, cars at the, law, at the sawmill. Probably do at least like two cars empty. I mean, we are doing tier a tier three, so should empty it a little bit quicker. Right on the bridge. <laughs> so you just rode right over top of me with the, the number two. 
Nice. You can actually see the brakes being applied. Yeah, it animates it. Yeah, that is, that is cool, isn't it? It's, it's a nice touch. It is. Like, when they actually enable the sanders, I, I wonder, are we going to actually see sand coming out of those pipes onto the tracks? I would think they would. And thirty two passengers. Bryson Hemingway, yep. the opposite way. Yep. Yeah, so they'll wait till the train's that headed back. <laughs>
The river is so shallow. Like, if you actually walk into it with your character and then do the overhead view, it's only, like, waist deep. got one car unloaded and the other one's got one log already off of it. Let's check on the stuff up here. Oh. Hello, Dean. Uh, what do we got back here, Bryson? Okay. Those might be done by end of day. Let's see what they're being might be. how one hour does for logging cars. Oh, wow. Why don't we wait two more hours and then we'll see what this... T that practically empties it. Holy shit. It only takes like five hours or so. Like four or five hours to offload all eight cars. There's just one log left on the very last car. That one will probably unload soon. And then it'll, it'll be ready to get swapped when that happens. Freight 
Yes. Okay. No active freight belts. And then that's when someone got some freight belts. All just stuff for between the sawmill and the logging camp. But that don't really matter too much. And top off on the water. Good thing there's that water column right there, right? Yeah, the water tower. Yeah, the water tower, and then there's a there's like a water tower and two water columns at Bryson. I'm in Whittier. Yeah, I know. I think that one's for the water tower is for when you just put them in the shed. The columns are for when the yard's full and you can only get to those two. I guess it also depends on the product too, like what's being put into it, because something like you might be able to leave that's like oh some like something that's bulky but light. You might only be able to get like 25 tons of that in there before the car is completely filled. But then you have something that's and it doesn't take up a lot of space but is very heavy. You might only halfway fill the car before you hit its maximum carrying capacity. So, I mean, weight really isn't all that much of a measure of whether the car is full or not. It all kind of boils down to what you're putting in the car. Probably not. when that uh, car unloads. I wish we could also be able to skip in like 15 minute increments as well. Yeah, I feel like I, I think I suggested that to uh, Crow last night. Because, I mean, that would make some sense. Being able to do like 15 minute increments. <laughs>
See what passengers are left, grab them, then head off to Ela. It's just four of those, let's grab them. So I once suggested fouling at wheels, not cub war. I mean, that would make sense considering the fact that it's like the, it makes it the Berkshire can't fit on a lot of the turntables. Even though it fits on the turntable, but because of its hitbox being bigger than the turntable, it doesn't work. Yep. That is like that is one thing that they need to fix for sure. Make it that it only they count like have a separate hitbox for switches and the turntables and stuff. That it measures from the edge of the wheels on the car or the locomotive. So as long as the wheels are fine, are outside of where they would actually cause an issue, then it'll be, then it'll work. Yeah, but if they I've... are where they would cause an issue, then it stops it from working. So like if you have your car yell partially on the switch, you're not going to be able to set the switch. Yeah, that was going to take a while because hitboxes are complicated. I'm sure. There was one suggestion for being able to purchase like used equipment, like used rolling stock and locomotives. I think the easy way for the turntable is to make its hitbox slightly larger than the biggest loco. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Instead of trying to change the loco, just make... Like for the turntable, the switches are not that hard to really fix. You just push back a little further. That's not a pressing issue. It's just a minor inconvenience. Yeah. The turntable, if not turning the Berkshire... That one's a bit more of a fix that needs to be that needs to happen. Yeah, there is always the why. Like we got workarounds. It's like someone like suggested a sleeping uh, sleeper cars be added to the game, but not be something that we would actually get, but something that like when you have the line fully completed, you get these cars delivered at the interchange in like Silva or at the interchange all the way at the end in Andrews, and then you have to yeah, take they... them all the way to the other end and drop them off at that interchange. So they're basically just passing through your line. That would make sense. 
Like, because like they weren't coming on short lines, like Dean yeah, said. You, like, but, yeah, we wouldn't see those type of tr like we wouldn't see those type of cars. But a pass through ours. makes sense. Yes, like that's basically what the person said through sleeping cars. So like all they are is they're just passing through our section of line, and we're uh, we're responsible for taking them from one end of our line to the other for the next railroad to take care of. I wonder when we're going to get, like, what they're going to do when they finally, like, when they actually set it up for us to have servers. Yeah, that's treating Albicoid as freight, yeah. Yeah, because you have to cut them out at the end, like, at, like you have to cut them in at the beginning and then cut them out at the end. But I, I think the way that that would like the way that that would should be done, is instead of it just being sleeper cars, it being an entire pa an entire train, like an entire set of coaches. So you would take this entire one just with one locomotive. You're not cutting it into your normal one. You're just running it straight through. And maybe having it that the whole one stops at a particular station. That and then that's it. Like you go, like it stops at like Bryson. To offload and load, and then passengers that would be getting off, like that, you might have that passengers will get off at Bryson, and then some of them are going to your like your local stops. Like this is basically be like an express that's coming through, making one or two stops at like major locations, and then continuing on to the end where it's then dropped off, or even that it has the locomotive already attached like it comes into the yard you take control of the train the entire way through and then drop it off at the interchange and then it's taken out and it's not be something like it would be something outside of the actual interchange window so when it arrives so then if you get it there early like running it in hours like this it just will automatically interchange it when it's dropped off at the siding Rather than have the train be there, and it's like, oh, you've completed it by noon. So instead of waiting till four in the morning, in our case, it would just go right at noon when we drop after you drop it. What, pup? Hmm? What? You're fluffy? Yeah, you're fluffy. <laughs> She's just staring back at me right now. And it puts the head down. Yeah.
that. Okay, where is... Nope, that's the car. There's the handbrake. These are all released. And... I am definitely going to top off on water before I take this up the mountain. those other cars. Dean, if you want to take over, you can. Well, I've been uh, asked to do something around the house for a second, so if you want to take over the train. Grab those other already loaded logging cars, drop them in the siding at the sawmill, and take these empties up the hill to Canelli and get them started working on being loaded up. have to do tier one before we can do tier three anyway.
those disconnected. All right, I'm back. All right. I'm guessing that arm was for the AI being on. Wasn't there a few Z there? Unless it was... I put one down earlier. You must have got removed earlier. Probably. Uh, oh, we're talking about coal trains? Yeah, the Pacific might push it up that hill. Yeah, because it's like four or five cars empties. not a fast um, track anyway 15 is like the top speed you want to take All right, making sure yeah it's an uphill the entire time like even when you're in the art it's still an incline Oh, 
5.5 tons to 11. 19, 
listening to any of them. Get anyone else to like. Oh, wait. Yeah, we do have some. That's a lot of Yeah. Two. Capacity. Log cars have been delivered to Canelli. Now I just need to wait an hour and they'll be uh, ready to go. What, Floof? What? So they aren't resting on your head. Freight bills and well, actually one active freight bill in the area. Well, got one car at Stenzel that is ready to go, and then another one that I guess they're loading it up, and it's at 31 tons right now. So that one will probably be filled by within a couple hours. It won't yeah, we all of the. Interchange stuff at the end of the day around like 1600. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It was on military time, so it was, you know, 16. Yeah, I prefer military time anyway. Military time, I'm good up till noon and then past that, I'm like, uh, what yeah. time is it? <laughs> yeah, my ex could not. Get the, could not understand the concept no matter how much I tried to explain it to her. I know it does the whole 24 hours. Yeah, I just basically want to... anything past 12, you subtract 12 and you get what time it is in the afternoon. Alright. We're good to go I mean, back. Having been kind of from Military family. Yeah, we just pushed back. There's no. I also haven't been involved here. with the emergency services. 911, the de uh, dispatch, they use military time for, like, with the dispatching and all that. So it's like I've just, I've gotten used to using the 24 hour clock. 
Like, it's it's second nature to me. Like, I know, like, I can look at it and know it's like, oh, it's that time. I don't have to think about it because I, yeah, that's what I use. Plus, also, with our, uh, with me being a trucker, we also use it because of that, too. So yeah, we any, push back. The afternoon is in is using anything above like twelve out is above like twelve. So I so if I have a delivery at like say five p.m., it's going to show up at seventeen hundred on my logs yeah. for when I make my delivery. Yeah, Dean, we're going to push back till the Y at um, Bryson and then flip the locomotive around. <clears throat> Service rating or network service for the passengers should definitely go up today for today. Yeah. All right. What's our finances looking like? Pretty decent. Okay. I see Crow is there. He's on idle. He might be getting on soon. Seems the air just dumped again. Oh wow. <clears throat> there it is. Hey, you're all good, Dean. Last pick is actually on my friends list on Steam. He got the game because he saw me playing it. I don't think he understands how the game works just yet. <clears throat> Probably not. Yeah, I got. I uh, probably noticed that I put a bot in the server, the me sick bot. And I swapped the uh, welcome messages from going from in the general. I just disabled the default ones and enabled the ones to me see to the me All right, six. we're good. Push back. Yeah, the welcome center. Yeah, because I figured that that's about, like the better choice.
you got 42 passengers to go to Whittier and 7 to go to Ella. And then there's a few that want to go back the way you guys are coming from. <laughs> Someone posted, it's like, I have found the worst color for a passenger car. And then <laughs> someone sent Austin put a. Uh, like, replied to it, baby shit brown. Yeah, didn't take long. What? Uh, someone's already modded this game. It's not even out for a week yet. <laughs> I wonder how they managed to do that. Yeah, I'm just looking at the main railroad jet and just, uh, it, it's, it's something.
motors are crazy. They waste no time. Change the color of the text on the locomotives. Like, all we can do with the locomotives is change the road number, the reporting mark, and then change what the tender says, and <laughs> and the whistle. And that's it. Yeah, like, we need more than that. Because the push forward. Tons going down the hill. There we go. What are you doing, Goofy Girl? What are you doing? All two of the cars only have five passengers in it. Huh. I'm like, why couldn't you just all got into one car? I don't know. I will say it's social distancing. Get the pushback. Damn it. Wanted to grab onto the ladder. There we go. Yeah, we're good on water.
right, we already got three of We're good to go ahead. Loaded. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven cars done already. And that's set for it to go back into the siding. Seven going to Ela, forty-two going to Lydia, and five going to Hemingway, but that's out of the direction. Yeah. <laughs> Just flavor. Like, is it the purpose of them is actually to drain water out of the cylinders? So, yes. Like the you, could, like you would do the that crew. like after the engine of uh, the locomotive with the city for an It also makes it uh it helps with starting out. I think it assists with follow control a little bit. I think Heist did a video on it, or something, like, they have a video. Oh. 
Hello, corn. server do you have up? Uh, we're on Chaos' server, so PHPRR. Taking the uh, two uh, heating oil and stencil manufacturing, I think is what those are back there. There's two cars up. Uh... Oh, there's more. It looks like heating oil and two for maybe stencil. Are they ready to go into stencil or do they have the interchange to stay at the from stencil. Um, one's full of furniture. What's the tab yeah, when you say they're going? East interchange, yeah, we're good. Well, we got the one that's empty going, and it's supposed to be coming back. And... The other one's still in the process of being loaded. It's at 37.4 tons right now machine parts. So I want to head into oh, uh, got the bridge gun. Whittier with Sweet. It. Yep. Completed that last night. Raptor's just chilling there. Yep. I'm waiting for the next station so I can get it all situated. All right, Raptor, is my neck broken or no? No. Oh, damn it. I thought if I looked completely behind me, my neck would turn around 180. <laughs> no, it just stops. Damn it. That sucks. Oh, somebody didn't close the gates. Shame on them. Oops, don't want to sit down. I see you pulling up to on the map pulling up to Ella we only have two locomotives on this map map right we have, we three. have three oh where's the other one oh. in Bryson it's currently idle because we don't have any freight coming out just yet <clears throat> Locomotive. 
Yeah, someone posted a picture of a uh, steam locomotive in the, uh, basically the general channel of the railroad discord. And... Yeah. It looks like it's a 26666, six, 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 and then two. there's two on the tender, basically. Yeah. Look at that thing. Like, what the... <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a quadruplex. <laughs> someone, someone will mod that, and we will have one of those. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah, it'd be cool. Alright, so we're, there's no one left in the station. Everything else is for Whittier. There's 20... Yeah. 23, 20, 16, 15. That's how many passengers we got. They just spread out amongst the cars. Yeah, but if they put a um, quadruplex in, it can pull the sun, but you have to refuel every stop. It just requires that much fucking coal. That's gotta be one that has an auger out of the tender, doesn't it? Um, if I think this was early it, enough that it was a shovel. Because it's the Erie. I think it was in like 1901. Uh. What, the so triplex? Said, not really. The E8 came out. Wait, is that what this is? The E8? Yeah, but this one's got the three drivers, not four. It's a. Uh, it's Evan. 288 is a 260. Yeah, can pull unlimited tonnage by the cost of refueling every mile. <laughs> Evolving, but backwards. <laughs> uh, let me pull up what Deaton said. Uh, oh yeah, two Y sixes. <laughs> It would be cool to have as a novelty engine that you just put on display. And you're like, oh, check that thing out. <laughs> <sighs> like, and you just dig it out if you want to use it, but... <laughs>
Oh shit, so I was getting... He's taking the gloves off. Stenzel needs to go to that interchange. Yeah, but I'll wait till that other one's loaded and we'll just take them both. Make it easier. And then the one on the uh, house track might even be ready, like, ready before long too, so. Warner, you want something to do? Nah, uh, no, I just hopped off the server like four minutes ago. Oh. I'm trying to do a little bit of research on stuff on the game. Alright, let's line engine one and the stencil. And I guess I'll take over two for a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, what's uh that one looking like one more hour and that should probably be fully loaded or maybe not it's definitely got more than a 50 ton capacity it's at 51.2 and it's not even done yet It'd be nice if it also if they also gave us like estimated time of completion of loading and unloading of these cars, right? Like being able to know about how long it's going to take. All right, what's the? Uh... We got two logs left on the train on the cars being unloaded at the uh, sawmill. Oh, Shasha, you goofball! I don't know. What else needs to be brought up from Bryson? I don't think there's anything that needs to come up from Bryson, is there? What is there at Bryson? Is there any... No active waybills. I mean, it probably would be a good idea to get the uh, Pacific brought down. Yeah. <laughs> 
if I wait, if I have us wait another hour, well, those lo that next set of logging cars will be ready to go up. Now, I wonder with these contracts, like, if you manage to get more than the amount unloaded each day, does that, like, does any of that affect the next day's requirements? Or do you it always have to supply? Because right it now does transfer rate, over. Like, so it's number of logs, not. And so it's number of logs delivered total over the course of the contract, not cars per day per se. Like so, because right now we'd be sitting, we're sitting at 16 cars unloaded, just about. And for the tier three, it's 15 cars. So. We've uh, we're basically unloaded more cars than were needed for today's contract, and we got another eight cars sitting, sitting back at the interchange, ready to be brought forward. It consumes up to fifteen cars of logs per day, so then look at the quantity in storage. As long as that is good. Forty-four logs. And how many logs are on fifteen cars? Oh, well, fifteen times three. So thirty, and then fifteen. That's forty-five logs. But there's forty-four in there. So it consumes forty-five logs a day. Does that like does it absolutely stop at forty-five? I mean, I think it should just unload them, just period. In a way, the tree like the, the <laughs> these fucking trees that are at the saw like there's trees at the sawmill that when you do the extra like do the most amount of trees. There's trees that are literally in the water. And then you also have grass in the water, too. Like grass and, and other vegetation growing in the water, basically. And when you get over to where the uh, river actually is... It's just dirt, pretty much, under the water. Maybe it's 52 tons to fit in the, in the uh, box cars. Depending on whether I should take the uh, car that's ready for the interchange back yet, or just wait. On that one.
reason not to, right? So if I'm doing 15, where, like, where's the bare, like, minimum spot to kick the car back to get it to that siding that it needs to go to, that Whittier? Like, once I, like, I'm going to disc, like, decouple it and just go at 15 miles an hour. Where would I need to uh, to actually release the car to make sure it makes it fairly down the side of the bay? Kicked it at like 20 miles an hour. Where's that Pacific? <laughs> All right, I'll hold an Ela. It should, like, if it, yeah. uh. like, I mean, when I left it, I had left it at this. Uh,
actually having it at Governor's is probably better because I might make it to Bryson. I got point seven tons of coal. Point seven tons of coal? Yes. That's not good. <laughs> Prob that's probably not enough. I left Bryce, uh, not Bryce, and Ela head towards Governor.
That other car's ready at Whittier already.